From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Kanak is Greenland's most northern town. It counts more huskies than people among its 650 residents. It's as unlikely a place as any to keep guard against atomic explosions. But at this barren outpost, a committed team uses high science to do exactly that. Kanak is located 1,100 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. Winter temperature is about minus 20. In the winter, snow and ice and constant darkness makes it difficult to access the elements. It's autumn, but Sven Erik braves the conditions year-round to run the infrasound station. It detects atomic blasts. The station is part of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, or CTBTO's network of sensors that monitor the globe for violations of the agreement. Nuclear explosions produce distinctive low-frequency sound waves that can travel across continents. Arrays like these record them. The station listens for nuclear noise around the clock. Engineer Jurassi Carvalho has traveled from the CTBTO's Vienna headquarters to upgrade the station. New antenna and radios are installed that forward data in near real time to Vienna for analysis. It's very easy to check this whole system remotely from the element to see if you're sending data to the central facility. A visit like this happens roughly once every three years, so a lot gets packed in. A new computer and software is installed. An audit of equipment and spares taken. And most crucial, training. In the harsh, dark winter months to come, it's friend Eric who is on the front line to keep the station running, to catch any nuclear blasts. This report was produced by Kirsty Grigorich Hansen for the United Nations. <laughs>